Take a look at this video. Tonight, many people remain without power in downtown Colorado Springs because of this fire. This video was sent by an 11 News viewer who saw flames shooting out of the sewer system in the street about 2.30 this morning. Springs Utility says a transformer failed in an underground electric vault. This one along Kiowa between Nevada and Tejon. And tonight, crews are still working on repairs. They plan to work around the clock. Some intersections are dark. So are businesses and apartments in a significant portion of the downtown area. As you can see in this map that they provided, the impact is extensive from Pikes Peak to Platte and Tejon east of Nevada in some areas. 11 News reporter Aaron Vitito is joining us live right near where the work continues late tonight. Aaron, CSU plans to work overnight to try to continue restoring power. Yes, yeah, same business owners I spoke with say they are all working together to try to save what product they have left for the long haul. And residents who live nearby tell me that the complex has told them to prepare for a possible week without power. Around 2 a.m. we heard this like crazy loud explosion sound and it started shaking the whole building like an earthquake and we all freaked out. That sound forced many from their homes in downtown Colorado Springs in the middle of the night. The carbon monoxide levels were so high they told us not to go back in there for a while. Many businesses didn't realize what happened until they came into work hours later. You know a lot of it's a loss just a lot of product that we had uh, with the power being out. So Ronald Hunter the owner of Mediterranean Cafe says he's getting help from El Paso County. Meanwhile, many business owners had to move their product and do it fast. Some of them take it to some other place. Despite the loss, though, Bento Heaven owner Sam Lee says he's trying to keep spirits hot. Well, I don't make the money, but I take a rest, so it's okay. And the owner of Mediterranean Cafe says he's relying on the community to keep going. You know, just get out and support, support your local community. Now, right behind me is actually the hole where that transformer failed. They're about to drill some new cables here in just a minute, so I'm going to keep this quick. But Colorado Springs Utilities has workers working around the clock, some working 12-hour shifts to help repair what they say is the heart of Colorado Springs. Live in Colorado Springs, Aaron Vitito, KKTV, 11 News. And treat those dark intersections as four-way stops as they continue. Aaron, thank you.